hi guys i'm back again today with another reaction video and today we're checking out 15 plus reasons india is like another planet so we're gonna check this out before we do start to forget to subscribe click the bell button and this was one of the requested videos so i'm slowly getting to everybody's request hopefully right very soon so before we do start to forget to subscribe click the bell button and let's go straight into the video any plans for your next vacation yes <laughs> How about seeing India? Had this marble structure built to house the tomb of his wife, Mumtaz Mahal. Kind of sad she never got to see this ivory masterpiece built just for her. Oh, wow. Since we're on the topic, here's a fun fact. There was an infamous Indian con man who repeatedly sold different landmarks in the country, including the Taj Mahal and the Parliament House of India. He was arrested as many as nine times but somehow managed to escape from prison multiple times. During his final escape, he was already 84 years old. What? How did he even manage to do that? Like, what does he say? Where did he sell this? Because I want to sell... <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> like, I want to sell some, you know, famous landmarks as well. Um, like, how do you even come about doing so? Because you need to have some connections to be able to do that. How do you even come such a huge amount, right? It's crazy. But anyways. Times. During his final escape, he was already 84 years old. 84. Aside from the fact that he was breaking the law, you gotta admit, that's kind of impressive. I know, right? Anyway, some tourists hope to avoid the crowds at major tourist attractions, like the Taj Mahal, and prefer to take the road less traveled. However, a long time might be hard to come by in India. With around 51 births every minute, that's over 73,000 a day, this country has one of the fastest growing populations in the world. Roughly half of India's population is under the age of 25. Oh. Also making it one of the world's youngest populations. That's good. India alone holds more people than the entire Western Hemisphere. What? And with so many people, comes a colorful tapestry of cultures, religions, and languages, which brings me to my next point. Okay. There are about 780 languages spoken in India, but some sources put it in the thousands. Oh, wow. Whatever the case, only 22 have been recognized as official That's still languages. a lot. Good thing English is in the mix, too. India has one of the largest numbers of English-speaking people in the world, mm -hmm. second only to the U.S., this means you can enjoy this super diverse country without needing a translation app on your phone each time you want to stop for lunch or buy a souvenir. It's good. Oh, that's right. Your smartphone is obviously your closest traveling companion because, let's face it, taking pictures is probably the easiest way snakes, to document your adventures abroad. You'll be happy to know that cell service and mobile internet is very cheap in India. Ooh, come on so then. So there's one more reason why your trip won't cost you nearly as much as you think. You can share every experience and discover with your friends and family back home without breaking oh, your budget. Oh, it would be nice budget. to like vlog that put this and then you can post it anytime. At the top of your bucket list of places to visit. For sure, it's... India's gone up to the places that I want to go to. It probably, before it was below below like very down the line right let's say i have 10 it probably was number nine or ten right and now it's probably somewhere in like the third or the fourth so so it, it's climbing you know as we are reacting to the videos your bucket list of places to visit 
Okay, now for another reason India won't leave you with moths flying out of your wallet. The food oh. there is so cheap. Check it out. If you go to a restaurant and order a whole meal with chicken or even fish, your bill could be as little as $1. Oh. As for a cup of tea, it'll cost you about 20 cents. I mean, can you imagine filling your belly for under five bucks? Sign me up. Given that you'll be saving so much on dining, you can dedicate more of that limited budget to once-in-a-lifetime experiences, something that India offers oh, in abundance. No, 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 no. Okay, that's one thing that Actually, I cannot... Actually, one of these is the food itself. I might die on the... In case you haven't heard of the land of spices, spice. India produces around 70% of the world's supply. That means each authentic local meal will be an adventure itself. Hopefully your stomach will be try. strong enough to tackle the rich variety of flavors. And for those I of you with so. sensitive taste buds, run to the here's a pro tip. Take small bites to test every the intensity hour, of the okay. spice before biting off more than you can handle. I love the spice food. I love uh, dairy products like yogurt, milk, and cheese and stuff like that. But... As I get older, I, I can't do it anymore. Like, I can still eat them, but then I will have to sacrifice one day in the bathroom. So, I would still try, but yes, I have to sacrifice one day uh, spending it in the bathroom afterwards. Sadly, I don't know what's happening with me, but it... My... Immune system is just getting worse. <laughs> More than you can handle. I also have some good news for traveling vegetarians that may be hesitant about the availability of meals suited for your dietary needs. India is also well known for being a vegetarian friendly country. I knew that. This is partially thanks to religious beliefs, but it's mostly just a personal choice there, out of respect for living mm. beings. A State of the Nation survey in 2006 showed that up to 31% of the Indian population is vegetarian Ooh. and another 9% do eat eggs, but no forms of meat. Oh. So enjoying local cuisine isn't reserved oh, only for meat eaters. Like I said before, this is a diverse country with enough variety to suit anybody. The food, oh, amazing. Do you think I forgot about you sports lovers? Well, if you love sports as much as Ooh. experiencing new cultures, Watching a live cricket match can be a way to enjoy both. I've never seen a, a cricket, cricket match before. Cricket is the most before. popular sport in the country, much like soccer in Europe or football in the U.S. So why not get your hands on a ticket to a local game, pack a picnic basket, we'll and spend so. the day outdoors among locals to get a taste of true Indian sport culture? The Gange River provides another outdoor activity for nature lovers while oh. still keeping the focus on experiencing the culture. The Ganges is the longest river in India oh. and serves as a hub of activity in this country. This includes dolphin watching, as what? the Ganges dolphin is unique to this river. Unfortunately, their numbers oh. are drastically decreasing due to increasing oh. pollution. Let's hope environmentalists can find a way to protect these creatures for future generations to enjoy when visiting India. Oh, that's cool. Again. You can't talk oh, about I India do, mm. without mentioning one of the many massive ceremonies that take place there. One of the most popular. I was going to say I want to do that with the elephant, uh, but then I realized, yeah, um, some people, it's not all, but some people treat their animals really awfully. So I avoid doing those type of tourist stuff. Sadly, All right? But there's other things to do. One of the many massive ceremonies that take place there. One of the most popular is the Kumbha Mela gathering, which Kumbha is so big that it's visible Mila. from space. Kumbha Mela is the two-month mass pilgrimage of those of Hindu faith to bathe in the Ganges. Oh. The host city of Allahabad welcomed I a never staggering knew this. 121 million visitors in 2013. Why didn't I know this? And a whopping 30 million on a single day, even what? if you're not into crowds. You should still try to buck up and witness this incredible event. I mean, mm. at least you'll be able to say you were present at the world's largest gathering of people. Bragging rights. Yeah. <laughs> Kumbh Mela is one of Kumbh many Mila. festivals celebrated in the Indian culture. 
but the brightest has to be the color festival this home. is what i know i never hear about the, the start other of spring one. and end of winter and the mm. triumph of good over evil in a very delightful way people take to the streets to drench each other in water and colored powder everyone celebrates together in a spectacular this, display like. of good humor and of course lots of color now i'm not usually one for a crowd but this just seems too good to miss true this sounds so fun as a matter of fact color plays a very important role in indian culture that seems. it's apparent from the traditional clothes festivals local cuisine and even their currency yes with a handful of rupees you'll quickly see their bright colors and variations oh. in sizes even if the notes designers didn't do it on purpose they seem to symbolically celebrate the diversity of this nation indian bills also have braille markings so oh, that blind people can read their values nice. how considerate yeah another fun fact of the topic of indian money it's illegal for foreigners to take rupees in or out of the country sorry for the bad news to any of you coin collectors that like to keep different types of money as a souvenir from your travels so really? yeah, not just a fun fact but one you should take note of to avoid any trouble with local authorities oh really so what if i didn't watch this video and i went there right and then i was going back but then i had like a lot of bills left they're gonna be like yo you're under arrest or something is it like huge amount or like any amount i need to know the more the depth of this because i have gone to a lot of places and i came back with a lot of cash still that i didn't spend so what am i supposed to do like make it rain when i leave or what Artists. I need info. There's no limit on the amount of foreign currency you can bring with you on your visit, as long as you declare any amount over five thousand U.S. dollars in cash. But then again, who's carrying that kind of cash on them anyway? Exactly. Now, Queen fans might be aware of this tidbit, but let's okay. see if you are. Did I you know, know that the iconic band's frontman Freddie oh, Mercury yeah, knew was that. of Indian descent? Yeah, I knew that. His birth name was Farrakh Bulsara, and both of his parents were from Bombay. Mercury himself, of course, was born in Tanzania, but still. Mm. I didn't even know I was born in Tanzania, but I knew it was uh, Indian. India has the highest number of winners from the Miss World competition with a total of six. I know this because Only of Venezuela reaction. Only Venezuela has produced the same amount of title holders since the beauty pageant started in 1951. The most recent Indian Miss World was Manushi Chiller in 2017. Mm. So in addition to the delicious food and fun festivals, you'll also be in the presence of people whose beauty is recognized worldwide. Growth. If you get tired of I don't I think I did mention this in our Miss World or Miss Universe uh video of India winners. Um yeah, it was always something that uh growing up I always envy. Well like whenever I watch the because it's something that i truly enjoy that like the miss world the miss universe as uh, as a young child i always watch that and i always say i was like oh my god i want to be miss oh uh, like i want to be i wish i i wish i could be miss india one day <laughs> but i'm not even indian <laughs> but anyways you know because whenever i see them i'm like whoa and i always won't support them even if philippines my country and even ghana would be in the miss world or miss universe i always would support miss india for some reason i mean i guess it everything came back around like like everything makes sense now right am i even speaking english sometimes i don't know if i speak sense if you get tired of the hustle and bustle you could also oh. take a day and kick back with that some edit. old school board games what's that you familiar with shoots and ladders well, this popular classic dates back like to ancient Indian and times leather? and was known as Moksha Patan. It made its way to England, where it was sold as snakes and ladders. The mm. name changed to the one we know today when it was first introduced to the US. The idea of the game was Yeah, even cartoon snakes I don't like. I'm sorry. Like I don't know what's wrong with me, but to teach anything the kids Let me know down in the comments. 
along with any other fascinating gonna facts take me you know though. about this country. And don't forget to give this video a like, share. I'll give it a like. Why not? Um, yeah. I definitely want to go now. Like all those assumptions and stuff that I had before, they're diminishing by via our um journey in our reaction videos that's why it's very important to be open-minded to kind of like give people or things a chance like for example you see like people eating sushi right and you're like ew why are you eating raw fish like that's disgusting before you say it, it's like try it for yourself and if it's truly disgusting for you then it's okay but at least you tried and you can say i don't like it but we cannot sit from a distance and look at something and say i don't like that or i'll never do this i'll never go there so it's really is an eye opener when uh we do these reaction videos and it will be a great experience to go to india it was never part of my like dream but now it is part of my dream to go there to be honest with you um yeah so let me know what you guys thought if you like this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye